How is it that something as beautiful as acceptance can actually be a source of pain and frustration for those of us involved in inner work and emotional healing practices? Believe it or not, it's one of the most common uh, points of confusion, frustration, and traps that I see. It has to do with being told it's essential to accept things as they are or accept our feelings as they are. And then when you feel a natural thing that happens in life, which is, I don't like the situation I'm in. I wish I had more money than I did. My body hurts and I want it to stop hurting. We now judge those thoughts as, oh, those are not accepting. I'm not doing acceptance properly and so on and so on. We're actually often taught that if we're not quote unquote accepting things, then we can't move forward. We can't heal. We're not going to ironically change the situation if we don't accept it. And so therefore we get caught in this trap. I call it the acceptance trap. It's, I actually in my heart want something to change. Things I've learned about acceptance or the ideas we get in our mind about them make me think I'm doing acceptance wrong. Now I'm frustrated about that. I want that to change and so on. So I actually got a comment on my channel recently that I think beautifully captures the essence of this. And so this person is talking about uh, pain they're experiencing in their body. And you can see it. Uh, it's just a strong need for this to go away, this person says. So a strong need for this to go away, which again, and I've highlighted, I know is wrong, as in not accepting. So there it is, right? I'm not, <laughs> I want my body to change. It's a strong desire for this to be different than it is. And I know I'm doing that wrong because I'm not accepting. So that's deep in that trap. And I'd like to give two points of context that can hopefully help uh, clarify and resolve some of this for you, for anyone dealing with this, and a little bit of an exercise type of approach that I think is also useful for kind of unraveling this a bit and getting us into actually accepting ourselves, which does not look like all happy thoughts. So point number one, is that acceptance has nothing to do with the content of your thoughts or even what you're feeling, right? What I mean by that is if a thought comes up that sounds really positive, like, hey, I'm eating this delicious food. I love it. It tastes great. We'll easily call that, oh, that's acceptance, right? Because I like it. I appreciate it. I'm there. I'm with it. Another thought comes up that says, wow, I wish I had more money than I did. I hate my financial situation. This is urgent. I'm scared. Now we will say, oh, I'm not accepting because I'm not accepting the, the financial situation or whatever it is. I dislike it. Therefore, it's wrong. Those are just different contents. They feel differently. Obviously, you experience them differently. But how you relate to those thoughts that arise is where acceptance is, in my opinion and framework. So. If you want to know my more about my overall framework about inner work, that it's about the relationship to our thoughts, feelings, and emotions, I have a short ebook in the description that sort of outlines my, my whole philosophy and approach with exercises and such about this. It's called You're Not a Repair Project. It's very relevant to this, right? Thought A is positive. Feels like I like it. Thought B is what we would call negative. I don't like it. What happens is we say that's an unaccepting thought because the contents seem negative. But how you relate to it, when you judge that thought as, oh, that's a negative, that's a quote, non-accepting thought, that's bad. Ironically, you are now rejecting those thoughts. Instead of accepting, this is what I actually feel. This is my honest response in that moment. Let me explore that. Let me move into that, right? It's the relationship to the thought versus the content of the thought itself. The second point it's related is that acceptance is not pretending to like something. This is another challenge that I see often. Just because you don't like a situation that you're in doesn't automatically mean there's no acceptance or acceptance is impossible. You do not try to pretend to like something or even pretend to be cool with it when you're not or okay with it. Right? A little extreme example, but if I break my arm, 
acceptance is not, hey man, it's all good, you know, I'm just going to let this hang here and <laughs> pretend it's okay. Acceptance is more, it's, it's recognizing the reality of the situation. You're not trying to deny it, you're not pretending it's something it's uh, other than it is. And just because I don't like that my arm is broken doesn't mean I'm automatically resisting it, right? Resistance could be more like, oh, this can't be happening. This, I refuse to accept this. I won't let this, you know, be what it is. And um, the tension and frustration, which by the way, the resistance itself is something you can welcome and accept. But the reaction to it, okay, this is the reality right now. The reality is this hurts, I don't like it, and I probably need to do something about it. Not pretending it's not broken, just saying, okay, this probably needs medical attention. So I accept that I'm going to have to go to the hospital. I don't like it. I don't like any part of it. I don't like how this messes up my day or my career. You're recognizing the reality of it. So the more you can disconnect that it has anything to do with you liking the situation, but more of an acknowledgement and just a softening as best you can of the this can't be happening this can't be real it's just this is the reality this is what's in front of me including my reactions of even hatred of disgust that's how you get to the real stuff is by accepting okay i actually hate this now a little exercise or approach that can help you to tune into the uh, feeling of acceptance itself as i'm presenting it here is when thoughts, feelings, emotions come up, I like to try this exercise where you personify them. So for example, you imagine that the thoughts or the feelings that are coming up are being voiced by someone or something you have a natural compassion towards. For example, a young child or an animal. The animal could be you know, limping. And would you say to the animal that's limping, hey, that's not very zen of you. If the animal's yelping out, no, you should be accepting of it. You're not accepting of it. You're resisting of it because you're, you're crying or you're making these sounds. That would not be a very kind or compassionate or really accepting posture of you. But that's what we do to ourselves. So if a child comes up to you and says, this really hurts, I'm scared, I don't like this, I want to feel better, again, would you say to the young kid, well, that's not acceptance of you, you're doing it wrong, or would a more uh, intuitive posture be to kind of get down on their level and say, well, okay, what's, what's hurting? Let me kind of help you through this. You have to acknowledge the reality that the pain is here and then examine it from where you're, or from where they are actually feeling. And so that's the same kind of compassion and approach you want to do to yourself. I hate that my body hurts. I want it to be different. Okay. Part of me is saying that. Of course it's saying that, right? Who wants to be in pain or be broke? No one likes that, as far as I know. So you acknowledge that, and you begin that sort of approach of moving into those feelings, examining it more. There's a lot of value in that. And even when it's something super obvious, for example, you know, my body hurts, I want it to stop hurting. When you go into it, like, okay, what else is going on here? What else is causing the suffering? What is the frustration beyond just not liking the situation? I accept that I don't like it. What else is pulling at me? You might find all sorts of layers. There can be shame around it, a feeling like it's your fault, even if it's not your fault. All sorts of different aspects, things that go back to your childhood can even start presenting themselves. Old injuries can have memories and stuff associated with them. So there's a lot of value in this type of what I'm calling acceptance just to accept all of the feelings including the fact that you hate what is happening embrace yes i hate it that's my honest response what else do you want me to do about it pretend it's fine and then from there you can get more into the to the reality and sort of the nitty-gritty so i know i keep emphasizing it a lot but please do not consider thoughts or feelings that come up that are, I don't like this, I hate my financial situation, I don't like this person, as automatically I'm doing acceptance wrong, and to have this almost Pollyannish idea that in order to be doing things properly, in order to really be, you know, moving forward and healing, it's just like, yes, I love you, I love this, I love it as it is. No, that's not, it's not real. That's not the real world. Right? Acceptance is 
I accept the humanity, I accept the reaction, I accept what is actually happening and my reactions to it, then I can explore my relationship to that. Then who knows, that may lead you down a path where there is a sort of transcendence of it. But you're not going to get there by uh, beating yourself up for not accepting or pretending to like things when you don't like them, and so on. So be kind to yourself in this process. You're not a repair project. You're not doing it wrong because you don't like things that are happening in life. Life is tough, man. Things happen no matter how spiritual you are. And they can be quite brutal at times. And our reactions are what they are. Working with them honestly is the way forward, in my opinion, and my experience. So I hope that helps. I said you can get that ebook in the description below if you want a little bit more context and outline, some different exercises in this spirit. Of course, I love responding to these questions and comments, so please leave them below if you have anything you'd like to discuss or uh, see a process about EFT, which I have on this channel, as well as some guided meditations. All of these will hopefully help you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.